We finally open the door We will get back together Even better than we ever were before da 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 Hello, my friends at Good Shepherd and St. James Parishes. It's good to have you back at this latest edition of the Deacon Sandy video chat. I want you to know I very purposely picked to take a small clip from that Dancing Deacon video I did about a month ago. That was the video that was the parody of the Hamilton musical because it was so uplifting for us Catholics. It talked about and the name of the song was We'll Be Back. And We'll Be Back specifically referenced to Mass, to receiving communion, to being fully together in our worship spaces, and to beginning to open up our ministries that we can gather again as well. So I wanted this particular edition of the chat to be very much focused on the horizon and the light that we know is going to come as we begin now to take some steps in the Catholic comeback. I want you to be aware then of what the Archbishop several times has reminded us as pastors and parish directors, and that we should try and be continuously moving forward, taking steps, maybe small sometimes, but ever moving forward, ever doing more assembly, having more participate in mass, beginning to open up ministries. So be aware that if you think back with me what's happened since March the 17th, St. Patrick's Day, we began then to not accept that we couldn't still worship, but we did it in a different way virtually. So we began to record masses each week, put them on our websites and Facebook pages, pages so people could participate by hearing scripture by reflecting on scripture hearing homily hearing music and receiving christ maybe not in eucharist form but in receiving him in in our hearts then a big day pentecost when the archbishop began to allow us to gather again in a limited capacity and so at both parishes we began then initially with one mass at each parish on the weekend to begin to welcome those parishioners who felt comfortable to come back. And then more recently, because more and more started to come and we want that to continue, we added two more masses. So we had four each weekend, two at each parish. And we're seeing again, a regular steady uptick. Now, the Archbishop who had suspended the obligation to attend Sunday mass has now decided that the obligation needs to return. So with the masses this coming weekend, which is going to be September 19th and 20th, the obligation is back. And so the, all of us who are healthy and don't have extenuating circumstances like an illness or taking care of somebody else or having a high risk factor, we are encouraged to come back to mass and know that the obligation returns for those of us like myself who are in an age group that are at high risk, know that the Archbishop does confirm that you would be allowed without the pain of sin to not have to come to Mass. So that's a positive step. We're going to add some capacity immediately to both worship spaces, adding some chairs and increasing our capacity by a, a decent amount, thinking we'll have enough space then for those who are going to return that haven't come back yet. And we're also ready now to activate overflow to Daniels Hall at Good Shepherd and the Community Center at St. James, streaming the audio and video of the Mass there and bringing communion to those who would gather in those, those spaces. Another step 
consistent with what the Archbishop suggested in terms of continuous steps, is we're beginning to allow ministries to come back, gather live in our buildings, sit eyeball to eyeball, wearing masks, sanitizing, and being distanced. But each parish has designated a few finite number of spaces so that we can keep them sanitized for you, but we are beginning that process. I also am doing this chat because there is an announcement that will be specific to St. James. We will continue for the month of October to have the one 9 a.m. Sunday Mass. And during the month of October, we're going to get more aggressive in trying to find liturgical ministers. Right now, we're having trouble getting enough just for the one Sunday morning Mass. And between that and the fact that Father Don Tim will not be with us until November, we feel it best for all concerned to stay with the one Sunday morning Mass at St. James through October. But we've also decided already that starting November, actually the weekend of October 31st and November 1st, we will return to two Sunday mor morning Masses at St. James. So that also will help us with what we expect to be ever increasing numbers coming back to Mass. We're not quite sure yet of the best time. Do we go back to the 8.15 and 10.30 that we used to have at St. James on Sunday? Or perhaps because people have gotten so used to the 9 o'clock Mass, do we do a 9 o'clock and an 11 o'clock Mass? There are some advantages and disadvantages to both. So know for sure we're going to return to two Masses in November and, and hopefully continue that through the winter and spring and look for additional information in coming weeks about the specific timing of the November Masses. So there we are. That's what we have this day to share with you. I would also share with you that this is the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross. I'm doing this on September the 14th. And on this feast, we always have the John 3 Gospel that tells us that God so loved the world that he sent his only Son. And let us know and remind ourselves that God is always with us and that his Son, Jesus, is always with us. And God's son, Jesus, was son of God, divine, but son of man. So Jesus understands these challenging times and these difficulties. So let's rest assured with our eyes fixed on the horizon and the light of Christ, that Christ is with us and walking with us. And know that though we may not understand why, we're going through what we are because it is God's grand design and master plan. And so I suggest, my friends, that we pray together and give glory to God by doing the following. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So that's it. That is this current version of our video chat. I thank you so much for coming. I suggest you look for either early or mid-October for the next version. I'm sure there'll be new news and new things to consider and new things to reflect upon. In the meantime, I wish you all great blessing from God, and I look forward to seeing you at Mass, if you can make it, and if not, here virtually. God bless. Bye-bye.